Hi, it's Bob Greedy here, and uh, I'm going to be opening this Intel RealSense camera box, which just arrived uh, from America. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you the Carmine 109 from PrimeSense. This is the camera, as far as they took it, PrimeSense, before they were bought in Apple by Apple in 2012. So it comes in a box like this big. Um, the camera looks a bit like this, in fact, exactly like this. Um, so you've got your structured light emitter and your receivers and your two microphones on either side. It's fairly hefty, decent sized um, USB cable. It's USB 2 because of the speed of the thing. And there you can see the Prime Sense logo. You can only get this um, because of the agreement uh, they had with uh, Face Shift. You can't buy it separately and, uh, other than second hand um, because of the purchased by Apple. So this is the option we have. Unfortunately this is only $100 to buy but landed here in the Czech Republic there was $34 of postage and I've just spent another about $60, $70 on import duties, tax and fees for doing that. So you actually end up paying about $200 but of course there was import duties on the, the uh, Prime Sense as well. Um, so that, that starting price is like $300, so this is significantly cheaper. Um, and additionally, it's meant to be uh, double the frame rate on the uh, 3D side of things. So uh, cut this open for you. Oh no, it's a box of paper. Okay. Well, already the box itself is a lot smaller than the. Uh, in fact, actually, I think the box is, is even smaller than the camera itself. No, you, you could have something that size in there. So let's just see what it looks like inside. It's quite well wrapped. Developer kit, not for retail or resale. There we go. So once you've got one, you can't sell it on. <laughs> okay, there's a little kind of one of these plastic things you get on a lot of these white packaging these days. Not seen it on an iPhone. Okay, it's a nice little box. Okay, there's the camera. Now it's not so obvious where the microphones are in comparison to the. Prime sense. Looks like it's got a lighter U USB cable, which happens to be uh, USB 3. You can see there it's blue. Blue. Good sign of a USB 3. It does complicate your extension leads. You need to get an active repeater cable and a powered hub, uh, which I've done. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, it's one of these boxes that's designed to be broken. Okay, fine, let's do that. There we go, it's actually a nice piece of kit. In fact, most of the bulk of it is a heat sink at the back. The logic board is much smaller, so, so you can see here it's got some pr protective wrapping and this big heat sink on the back. There you go, see? It's like an aluminium heat sink. Anodized black. And nicely, it has, it has a camera mount right there. So what we need to do um, to get this fixed up, ah, there's the microphones, there and there. Okay, it's actually branded creative, so this looks like it's gonna be something uh, that's gonna be commercial. It doesn't quite look like I was expecting it to. Um, anyway, that's that. So in comparison, you can see it's quite a lot smaller. Um, just in everything, really. sure how much lighter it is. I'll have to put that on scales for you. But uh, certainly it's, it's dimensionally smaller. Um, and that's about that. So I'll show you the mount that I'm going to put it on. Hopefully. So something like this. This is a chest plate for a GoPro. And uh, we're going to sit that on there. Um, but I need to get some adapter for this 
unit here. And it's a question of whether that's going to be strong enough. Um, might have to revisit that, but uh, uh, there we go. That is the Intel RealSense developer kit camera. Thanks for watching.